Hey everyone, welcome back to Get Cougared. My name is Mitch Cougar, and you know exactly what time it is. It's time for Coog to Views! Alrighty, so we had a huge Tuesday poll this week involving four big movies coming out within the week. And I say within the week because Mary Poppins hasn't actually come out yet, but it would have been within this Tuesday week. It's all a bit confusing, but it was on the list anyway. So, I had a bit of fluff. Now, we had the new movies were, sorry, Aquaman, Ra Wreck-It Ralph 2, Holmes and Watson, and Mary Poppins Returns. Now, these four movies, all fantastic in their own right. You know, I would have been really readily prepared to see any single one of them because I think they all look fantastic. So it really was a difficult Tuesday for me to witness because I was so anxious about what you were going to choose. But in the end, it came down between the two movies, Aquaman and Wreck-It Ralph 2, Ralph Breaks the Internet. And da -da -da -da, Aquaman was indeed the winner. Now, was I surprised? No, I did think that, you know, you being my audience, that was what you were going to pick and you did. So let's get Let's dive into it, if you if you will. That's a little little ocean humor for you there. Now, Aquaman is of course a part of the DC universe. It is the new addition to the superhero franchise. You know we've had um, all the Superman and Batman movies, Wonder Woman, also a Justice League film, and Aquaman finally gets his origin story um, on the plate. And guys. It was very good, very, very good. You know, I think DC are finally on track as to how to successfully make a franchise because the thing they've lacked is heart. It's probably a good way to put it. You know, they, they've they gone down a path where things are so dark and gloomy and it's just not entertaining. You know, it does reign true to the, the DC universe, but at the same time, it's not that is just a small portion of viewers. And I think they've finally figured that out because that's what Marvel has done so successfully is they've catered to more than just their viewers by making it a little more lighthearted. And that's probably Disney's influence, which isn't fantastic, but whatever. We're talking about DC, Aquaman, so, so good. Jason Momoa can do no wrong. He is incredible, sexy as hell, so, so cool. You. Everybody loves him. You can't not love him. He is just the best casting choice they could have ever made. Especially for Aquaman, who has become, I guess, the butt of most DC jokes, being a below-par superhero in terms of, you know, his abilities and his costume, as people have alluded me to. Um, now, they did really, really well to make him cool and make him likable and the story was freaking awesome i thought the story was so so cool a lot happened i will admit that it was a long movie and a lot of little storylines happened but they all really worked well together and i never felt bored i never sat there going oh when is this going to end or oh this is taking forever it really transitioned beautifully amber heard with her bright red hair babe total babe she was great he was great their connection was great i will say there was a flaw for the film though <sighs> you know you know that they're probably going to end up together so when they had their little like oh we, we touched hands oh, kind of moments it was kind of just like you know don't do that like it was it was kind of corny and cheesy overall with their jokes and the way it played out and I was fine with them, you know, I love little laughs, you know, I'm, I don't want to laugh out loud in a superhero movie, you know, an action movie, I just want to go like, <laughs> you know, I want to give them a little laugh, so those were perfect, but the lovey-dovey corny moments were just a little too much for me, especially for the tone they were setting with, you know, the war and the oceans and the land and this and that, and yeah, the CGI was phenomenal, I thought the special effects were great, Julie Andrews was fantastic, Nicole Kidman was amazing. I just thought it was brilliant. Overall, the movie was fantastic. It is up there as one of the best DC films and most successfully executed DC films there is, in my opinion. You know, I thought Wonder Woman was brilliant. 
and that was because of his execution and i think aquaman is is up there and they've totally set themselves up for sequels and to come and brilliant brilliant i give props to this the company that has made this film so anyway i'm gonna give aquaman four and a half stars it was genius it was great the only flaw was a little bitty love connection and that is minor you know but i i can't give it five stars because of it because that was annoying and black manta was kind of annoying as well so there were there were mini, tiny little flaws but other than that really really good go and see it i know you want to do it it'll be in cinemas for ages so don't think you have to go right now but go please go aquaman great now don't forget to subscribe to all of my social medias, get Cougar on Facebook, Mitch Cougar one word for my Snapchat, and Cougs reviews with Zs for my Instagram. And my videos should be uploaded onto YouTube for your reviewing pleasure. <sighs> Sorry I rushed for the last bit, I just wanted to get this done. Alright, have a good day. Have a good new year. Bye. Bleh, 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 bleh. <laughs> it's time for Cougs reviews!